It was a horrifying event that reminded people in Michigan school shootings can happen anywhere. In this instance, four people at Oxford High School died and several more were injured. But the toll could have been much worse if not for the training teachers received and how to best respond to this type of terror. TV5's David Custer takes us behind closed doors to show us how participants are taught to quickly react while keeping calm. We have updated information on the number of uh, deceased. It is three, eight others that were shot. Breaking news tonight, three students are dead and Oakland County School under attack. We heard the initial shots and everyone sprinted back. School shooting at Oxford High School. Students relying on instinct to survive. Yeah, we're here. I mean, a couple other classmates started to take charge by like barricading and passing out things like scissors. And a lesson plan that was never part of the curriculum. Unfortunately, in today's day and age, you have to be prepared. One by one, teachers file into the Goodrich High School Auditorium. A role reversal. Today, these Goodrich teachers are the pupils eager to learn. After the tragedy just 20 miles away at Oxford High School on November 30th. Oxford staff saved multiple lives over there. The subject, a cautionary tale from a 20 year veteran in law enforcement. If you see something, say something. That is how you learn. You want to let everybody know. A course Sergeant Rudy Lopez never planned to teach, but a necessary evil, especially after the neighboring Oxford community changed forever. After a little while and everyone screaming, shut the door, shut the door. The, eventually someone got up and shut it and then put the lock in. Hunter Burbis was only feet and seconds away from the bullets flying through the halls of Oxford High School that Tuesday afternoon. Bullets that claimed the lives of four unsuspecting students and injured several more. He tried to open it. Luckily, we had the, the lock in, and then after that didn't work, he shot it. A bullet came through our door window, so that freaked everyone out as well. Sheriff's office. Hunter and his classmates were in survival mode. Safe come out. They had secured the door and armed themselves with anything they could find. We're not willing to take that risk right now. That's one of the things about Alice is just making sure you're armed as well. I can't hear you. We're not taking that risk right now. Alice isn't a person's name. It's an acronym used for active shooter response training in schools. It's been used for more than two decades after the shooting massacre at Columbine High School in Colorado. A is for alert. Let people know of the threat. L lock down barricade the door of the room you're in i inform pass on as much information as you can to responders c is for counter only if you're face to face with the shooter do whatever it takes to stop them and e means evacuate if it's safe get out and remove yourself from the threat Go. <laughs> slow down you're fine I think it's definitely given us like a base of what we have to do. In fact, I just remember the training and just, we all did it, I guess. I wasn't too panicked, really. She dropped that pass, we're okay, we're okay. There was an orderly evacuation, the school did everything right. And just like the interactive Alice training for students and staff at Oxford, Goodrich teachers were put to the test, applying what they learned in the auditorium to an active shooter drill inside the classroom. We have an active shooter by Mr. Khan's room. We have an active shooter by Mr. Khan's room. Lockdown, lockdown. We want you to barricade the door, come up with a secondary, even a third lock on the door, whether that be, you know, tying something off around the handle, preventing it from opening out, or blocking it, preventing it from going in. If you got open to the door, it's pretty easy for him to get in, right? If, if you have no other aspects, and, and we don't pre, it's not fighting, it's not, you know, we're just telling you, you have the right to defend yourself and somebody else. Defending against a shooter who has the upper hand. Let me in! And how quickly staff and students react and the tools at their disposal could mean the difference between life and death. Just think about what you would do in this situation. At this time, we are all clear, all clear. If you have an active shooter in a building and he comes into a building and everyone evacuates and runs away as far as they can, as fast as they can, then we don't have an active shooter anymore. If something didn't work, yeah. try something different. Try something different just to see if it works, right? When it's your next door neighbor, you're, it's on your mind all the time. 
Oxford hit close to home for Goodrich Area School Superintendent Wayne Wright. His district riddled with sadness and fear following the attack. Safety measures like easy to use locks on classroom doors were recently installed and refreshers on the Alice training would not only be for teachers but students as well. When you have this type of training and you do it over and over again, you're more prepared. And it's not only for you prepared for something that takes place at a school, but it can be real life situations that take place outside of school also. We have a plan here. I know it's in place. We're not training the shooter. We're showing the shooter that we're prepared. We have an active shooter. And if you come to this school district and you do anything bad, we're prepared and we're willing to do what we have to do to go home at night. Alice training is also available to organizations in a variety of industries, and you can learn more about it in this story on WNEM.com.